It's been a little more than a week since Governor Hutchinson issued a statewide mask mandate. KNWA's Lauren Craycall explains why One Asylum Springs Restaurant says it's giving patrons the choice to wear a mask, no questions asked. All of our other employees that are physically capable of wearing a mask are wearing masks. And we, we do take those regulations serious. Jacob Freeze is the owner of Barnett's Dairyette in Salem Springs. You know, overall, the feedback has been positive. He posted this flyer on Facebook saying, if we see you without a mask, we will assume you have a medical condition and we will welcome you inside to help support your local business. I didn't want our customers to feel shamed or feel like they would be shamed if they walked into one of my businesses for not wearing a mask. And there's there's a number of reasons why people aren't wearing masks these days. Families I saw were all wearing masks until they got their food, even though not everyone is required to. One local doctor says there's only a few legitimate reasons why someone shouldn't. But really when it comes to medical exemptions, it's, you know, young children, facial deformities, and then that last caveat is severe respiratory disease. In Freeze's flyer, it says due to HIPAA, they cannot legally ask people about their medical conditions. Dr. Blake Hansen, a family physician at Northwest Health, says since masks are mandated by the governor, he feels you need confirmation as to why you can't wear one. I, I don't think that that's unreasonable to say, you know, there's there's public policy right now saying that we're wearing masks and our and our business backs that public policy for our, the safety of our employees. Dr. Hansen says masks are the greatest tool in trying to get things back to how they were pre-COVID-19. Just trying to do our, our, our civil duty, our community duty to each other. Which is the same goal Freeze has for his business. You know, the bottom line is this. We want our customers to feel comfortable coming into our business. And we are a small business. We are we are having a hard time. In Salem Springs, Lauren Craycall, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.